Let me set the scene. Ever since I was a kid, I've liked Lego sets based off buildings more than sets based off vehicles. My favorite buildings to make in Lego were the ones I'd frequent. Houses, restaurants, stores, and hotels. Middle class American life. But anyways, I've always wanted a hotel in Lego. This was only fueled when Super Mario Sunshine came out and there was this amazing level in the game, which is a beach hotel. I found that so creative. This set should be a dream come true for me, but it isn't. This is a 2022 modular building, the Boutique Hotel. Celebrating 15 years of the LEGO modular buildings starting in 2007, the set retails for $200 with 3,066 pieces, seven minifigs, and releases January 1st from LEGO stores and shop at home. So where did it go wrong? Well, okay, this is a hotel, but there's no elevator, there's only three rooms, where two of the rooms do not have a bathroom. There's no public bathroom downstairs even. The only room with a bathroom is the upstairs top floor one. Come on. Like when it comes to other sets, cramping rooms comes off as annoying, but a hotel is a set where you could have cramped rooms and it actually makes sense for what it is. But we just get three here. And then the second floor, having two rooms with no bathroom slash restroom and no public restroom existing in this set is very lame. I usually like the inclusion of an extra business with these sets, and they include El Cubo, the cube, the square, I don't know, because it's an art gallery. <laughs> Anyways, this is cool, but a complete waste of space with the set. The terrace buildup has nothing to do with the hotel. No part of the hotel is built upward on this, with this corner having an admittedly nice dumpster build, but again, more wasted space. This area could have been used to expand the build of the hotel so that these rooms could have a bathroom, but more so, I'd try to truncate the room and have this area expanded, whole set just being a hotel, and I think we would be able to fit three rooms on the top two floors, or two on each with bathrooms and an elevator build, Heck, this is an anniversary modular. You could have made this taller like the town hall, which had a lift build. And then if they added another floor of rooms, I'd buy a bigger hotel at 250 to $300. But judging the set as it is, I don't hate it by any means. I think this is a good set. It gives me a very South Florida feel, even if they were going for like a 20th century European feel. Having grown up in South Florida, I'm reminded of the art deco design that you'd find in Miami with those colors. There's light flesh, Bricks? What? People will find that creepy, but hey, we don't bat an eye when there's yellow bricks being used. I for one actually love that color here. We don't ever get bricks in that color, or at least not often, which is a great contrast with sand green at the top. I actually don't love the light nougat at the bottom. It's not awful, but it just doesn't mesh too well with those top two. With the SoFlo feel, I love the Spanish here and the palm tree build with an eggshell piece at the base and how they use that multiple times. I really like the first floor of the hotel, even though there's four keys for some reason. I noticed Albert reference with the visitor sign in, a Parisian kicks ass. I love the tile designs of the floor, but there's not too many interesting details in the hotel room builds. I mean, I do really like this TV build though, and I love how there's a balcony. I like the luggage carrier build at the bottom floor. I mean, aside from the balcony, that second floor really has nothing interesting to me. And again, it's missing bathrooms. At the side of the hotel, the sticker is literally just references to all the other modulars, which is a lot of fun for 15th anniversary. The modern art gallery actually has some fun builds for sculptures and abstract paintings. In particular, I love the build of the Creator Expert logo in clear. Finally, for the minifigures included, I wish there were more hotel employees. There's just two bellhops here, there's no maid. At $200, you can add a little more minifigures for hotel employees. Anyways, we've gotten some decent friends hotels, a crappy city one, even the cafe corner technically had a hotel, but it was so vacant. This is the best out of the bunch. It's a modular building, of course the detail is above those. But still, I can't say I love this set. Now, I think it fits in fine with the other modulars, though I don't know how this can be boutique with the jail next door. <laughs> but anyways, I, I, I don't think about it too hard. I will not skip this one. I'm going to buy it January 1st, because at this point, I buy all the modulars when they come out. Because if I don't, I'm going to miss it, and it goes up for insane prices. And at one point, yeah, I'm going to want to have all the modulars displayed, since I was fortunate to get some of those older ones. But anyways, let me know in the comments, do you guys agree or disagree with my assessment? Am I being too hard on this set? Let me know if you guys will buy this when it comes out. Subscribe for more LEGO news. Be sure to check out the Brick Set review. I use some pictures from there. It's linked in the description. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.